Hello children, once again welcome back to the session. So there are two types of spherical lenses. The one is convex lens or converging lens and then concave lens or diverging lens. Clear? Next thing is convex lens. Now we are going to discuss about convex lens. So this convex lens is thicker at the center but sorry thicker at the center but thinner at the edges. Look at here. They are thicker at the center and thinner at the edges. So these types of lens are called as convex lens. Clear children? So if you want you can draw this and you can mention this also that is edge, center, edge. You can write here thinner edge, thicker center. Okay? Next Convex lens is also known as converging lens. Do you know why? Look at here. As convex lens converges the ray of light falling on it. So what is the work of this convex lens? It converges all the light rays which falls on it. So this convex lens is called as converging lens. What do you mean by converging? All the light rays meeting at one point is called as converging lens and then look at here so this is a now we have a light rays falling on a paper so in this path we are going to place one convex lens what do we observe so after particular time this paper starts to burn because I said you right, convex lens has the property of converging the light rays. So based on this, I have given you one question also in the last session. So a boy had few dried leaves. So he do not have any matchbox to burn them. But he have a convex lens with him. So with this convex lens, if he keep on showing this convex lens on this paper or on dry leaves for a particular period of time. So what happens to the light rays? So the light rays will be converged at a single point. All the light will meet at a single point. So when all the light rays meet at one single point, heat is produced. What? Heat is produced. Due to that heat, it starts to burn. Due to the heat, it starts to burn. Look at here children. So a paper, light rays are falling. On. So this here the light rays falls at all the points. So but when we are keeping the convex lens, all the light rays meets at one single point. So what happens due to this heat? Why heat is produced? Because all the light rays meets at one point. So it starts to burn. That is why convex lens is called as converging lens. If you have a convex lens, keep it in your hot sun and keep a paper and try this under the guidance of parrot. Okay? Next thing. Look at here. How does the convex lens converges the light rays? Look at here. So the light rays which falls on the convex lens after coming out from it everything meets at a single point. Light rays converges at a single point F. So convex lens is called as converging lens. Clear children? Next thing is concave lens. What is it? Concave lens. So concave lens are nothing but they are thinner at the middle and thicker at the edges. Concave lens are thinner at the middle and thicker at the edges. Convex lens is also known as diverging lens. What is it? It is known as diverging lens because convex lens diverges the light rays falling on. What is mean by diverging children? Diverging. 
so it starts to deviate at a point it starts to spread in all directions that is called as divergent they are telling right take diversion what is that that means to have a turn to spread or to move away from that so concave lens are also called as converging sorry diverging lens because the light rays which falls on it are diverging the light rays are diverges a concave lens diverges the ray of light falling on it so it is called as diverging lens look at here this is a concave lens and the light rays which falls on it in it are diverged so they are not meeting at a single point so they are diverged to they are spreading all direction that is why it is called as diverging lens clear children next thing is let us now study about the image formation by lenses we have studied how the image is formed in plane mirror concave mirror and convex mirror right in plane mirror how the image is formed what are all the characteristic they are erect virtual laterally inverted same size as that of the object same size as that of the object and then the distance between the object and mirror and image and mir mirror are same and then characteristics of image formed by concave mirror they are real virtual erect inverted and then convex mirror no image is obtained so they are virtual and then erect real image is always inverted virtual image is always erect now we are going to discuss how image is formed by a convex lens okay we are going to have a screen as same as the top the image formed by mirror so we have placed a screen here a candle and then what is it what is this children con what is this convex mirror okay so now we are going to study how the image is formed by lenses in that the first topic is image formed by convex lens first we are going to have a screen a screen is placed there and then we are going to take a convex mirror and then keep a candle keep a lighted candle at a distance of about 50 cm from the lens look at here a candle is placed here which is at a distance of 50 cm not meter okay 50 cm from the lens and here a screen is placed okay so now we are going to see the image of the image of this candle in this screen okay look at here so now the image of the candle is obtained on the screen so what we can tell it is a real image right we are if we are able to see the image on the screen it is called as real image is yes or no and then now i am going to move the candle bring the candle closer to the lens now i am going to bring the candle closer to the lens so if i am going to bring it closer what happens here here the image becomes larger the image becomes larger in the screen if i keep on if i am going to keep on moving the candle near to the lens now i placed the candle near to the lens now i am not able to get any image on the screen so what is this it is an virtual so from this what we had observed so we concluded that 
the image formed by a convex lens is look at here we observe that as the candle is far away when the candle is far away from the lens the image of the candle formed is diminished real and inverted what is it diminished diminished means what somewhat dull and then real what do you mean by real image is obtained on the screen inverted what is this inverted children upside down yes or no look at here here the image seems to be inverted inverted is nothing but upside down so this is the first observation we made by this setup and then by moving the candle closer what do we observe there this is the first observation we made by moving the candle closer what do we observe we observe that as the candle approaches towards the lens that is when the candle is moved towards the lens the image becomes enlarged have you seen the changes children the image seems to be bigger in size and we are able to get the image on the screen so it is also called as real and inverted in the last when the candle is kept very close to the lens what is it when the candle is kept very close to the lens the image formed is enlarged virtual erect what do you mean by virtual you are not able to see any image on the screen that is called as virtual so virtual means they will be erect okay so these are all the observations which we had seen in the image formed by convex lens clear children so what are all the characteristics of image formed by convex lens diminished real inverted enlarged real real inverted virtual erect so what are all they real inverted virtual erect diminished enlarged so the image formed by convex lens is same as the image formed by concave mirror yes sir no children the characteristics of image formed by convex lens is same as the characteristics of the image formed by concave mirror now it is clear and in the next class we'll be seeing about the image formed by concave lens okay so this is the topic which we are going to discuss in the next session okay so what are all the topics which we had seen today children today we had discussed what is mean by spherical lenses that is what is mean by lens what is the difference between lens and mirror what is the difference and similarity between lens and mirror and then what is mean by concave lens what is the definition of concave lens and then convex lens then we have discussed how the image is formed by a convex lens what are all the characteristics of image formed by convex lens so these are all the topics which we had dis we discussed in today's session so if you have any doubts regarding these topics you can clarify your doubts with me later okay children so i will tell you one more time what are all the characteristics of image formed by convex lens they are real inverted virtual erect enlarged diminished so the image that is the characteristics of image formed by convex lens is same as the characteristics of image formed by concave mirror okay children so i thank you all for listening this session do you ever take your book have reading habit if you have any doubt clarify your doubt with me